hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the drop to hang parkour action so for example if the player is standing right here on the roof then from here we when the player presses the button we will move the player to this climb point okay and in the hanging stat so let me tell you how this will work so for example if this is our player okay and to this player the nearest point is this one okay so what we want to do when the player presses the button we will make the player jump to the nearest climbing point and you will be thinking that how we will detect the climbing points okay we will be detecting that using ray cast okay so from the player uh, from from the player transform in the downward direction we will be creating ray cast and then if that ray hits this climbing point then we will know that right here we have a climbing point and then the player will jump to it okay to the nearest climbing point so first of all on miximo.com search for drop to free hang and simply download this animation okay this will be the animation so click on download without skin fpx for unity click download and once it is downloaded in, in inside the jump down actions drag and drop it okay so let me find it now where it is this is the animation change direct to humanoid copy from other avatar let's select our main mesh click apply and this is the animation let's drag and drop the player in there okay so as you can see this is the animation okay for now the animation offset is a little bit upwards okay so what we can do we need to change the offset of this so actually let me move it to the climbing animations folder okay and when you move it there this is the animation now now let's test it with our hanging idle For now, let's leave this as 2, okay? We might need to change this value at the end of this video, but for now 2 will be good, okay? Now get back to the climbing animations. Let's try and drop it in here. We will remove the spaces from the name, okay? So it is now drop to free hang. Then let's make a transition to the, whoops. Let's make a transition to the hanging idol, okay? So now if we play it, as you can see here it is. For now, the animation has this thing okay if you notice it it is taking a little bit of time so what we can do if we open up this settings let's change this to 0 0.5 and this to 0 0.1 okay let's select it again and now if we play it as you can see it is looking good let me select the transition okay now if you notice that now when the player transition to the next animation the player moves down a little bit as you can see so what we need to do we need to now move this animation even more down okay so let's make this as 0 0.6 click apply let's select it again I think 0 0.6 is a good value for this as you can see okay 
so you can add your own value to it and when it looks good then just leave that value as it is and also make sure that you name it correctly okay so now we are ready to type a script for it okay but first let me tell you that as i told you in the paint that we will be creating a raycast and by using that raycast we will be detecting the ledges or you can say the climb points so open up your environment checker script and then after the check climbing okay after this we will create a function now for checking for the climb points okay so we will say public void let's name this as check drop climb point and in here we will say drop hit this will be equals to new raycast hit okay then let's create a origin for our raycast so we will say var or you can say variable equals origin equals to transform dot position okay from the player position as i told you in the downward direction so we will say vector 3 dot down let's multiply that by 0.1 f in order to give it some offset and then we will say transform dot forward multiply that by 2f okay then we will say that if physics dot raycast okay let's cast away from the origin then in the minus transform dot forward then we need to store the information so we will say out raycast hit okay then we will give a length to this ray which will be 3 and we want to detect any point that is on the climbing layer so we will say climbing layer okay so if we found anything then that will be stored inside our drop hit so we will say drop hit and that will be equals to the hit we will say return true and right here we will return false that is it so now when we are now we are actually creating a raycast okay now the next thing which we want to do is as i told you we will be getting the nearest climb point to the player okay so we need to get the nearest climbing point so for that let's get back to the climbing controller and after this climb to top let's create a method so first of all we will say climbing point okay then we need to inside this uh, method we will get the nearest climbing point so what we will do we will name this as get nearest climbing point okay this will take a transform so let's name this as drop climb point 
and then it will take a vector 3 which will be by the name of hit point or let's just say okay we can just keep this as hit point okay then in here we will create a variable by the name of points this will be equals to ledge dot get component actually components then in children's I forgot the children's spelling it is C H I L T R E N actually okay so children we need to pass the climbing point okay then what we will do we will say climbing point then nearest point we will equal that to null then we will create a float by the name of nearest point direction this will be equals to mathf dot infinity okay then now we need to check all of the points and then from all of that points we will get the nearest climbing point to the player okay so for that we need to add a for each loop okay so in here we will create a variable by the name of point in points okay and let's create a float by the name of distance and by using this we will measure the distance to the nearest climbing point okay so we will say point dot transform dot position and then we will say hit point okay then we will say that if this distance is less than the nearest point distance okay i've named this as direction change this to distance and this one as well right here okay so if the distance is less than the nearest point distance then it means that we have a nearest point so we will equal the nearest point to the point okay and then the nearest point distance will be equals to the distance and then after the for each we will return that nearest point okay right here guys change this ledge to drop climb point actually okay on the climbing controller make sure that you change that then let's get back to the environment checker okay right here what we need to do we need to say out raycast hit and let's pass right here the drop hit okay we forgot to do that and also since this is returning true and false so instead of the void we need to type bool so now once you do this now let's get back to the climbing controller okay and right here where we jump to the climb point now right here we will type a code in which the player can jump from the top to the climb point okay from the rooftop so right here we will say if the leave button is pressed okay so we will say if input dot get button and the button name is leave make sure that you type your own button name which we created in our previous video then we will also say with this that if the 
player script dot player in action is false okay then what we will do we will jump from rooftop to the climb point okay so right here we will first of all say if the environment checker let me see the reference name okay it is EC right here okay so you will say if the environment checker dot check drop climb point okay this is the method which we created right here okay in which we create a raycast okay and by using that raycast we direct a climb point okay so we will say that if we can deduct a, a climb point okay so right here we will say out raycast hit drop hit okay so now in here what we want to do we want to first of all get the nearest climb point okay let me tell you again if we press the leave button or you can say the F button and if the player is not in action okay then first of all using the raycast we check for a climb point okay and when we find a climb point okay then from that climb point we will get the nearest point okay so let's do that so we will say current climb point equals to get nearest climbing point okay then right here we will say drop hit dot transform then we will say drop hit dot point okay so when we get the nearest climbing point after that we will set the control of the player false so we will say player script dot set control let's make this false and after this right here we need to set the hand offset for this parkour action okay so we will set the hand offset right here but for now we didn't know that where the player the player hands are so for now let's leave this as it is in a comment and right down below let's play the animation okay so we will say start coroutine and as you know that we have created a method right here which is climb to ledge in which we pass the animation name and everything okay so right here we will say start coroutine let's call that climb to ledge and in here we will now call the animation name so first of all let's check it out what is it is okay so it is drop to free hang okay make sure that you type your own animation name so i will say drop to free hang right here the o is small okay now after the animation name we need to pass the transform of the current climb point so we will say current climb point dot transform okay and then after this for the start and end time we need to check the animation okay if i show you right here we need to compare start time and end time for our target matching okay so we need to pass these two so what i will do now is i will get back right here click on this drop to free hang and let's check the start and end time okay so if i play the animation okay right here as you can see the players start rotating so somewhere right here on this 40 percent this will be our start time okay 40 
0.4 and let's check the end time so the end time should be around 54 okay because right here the player hangs fully as you can see okay so the start was around 40.4 so i will say 41 let's just make it 41 and then the end time was around uh, 54 percentage so i will type 0 0.54 okay then after this we need to assign the player hand offset but as I told you, we don't know where the player hands are for now. So what we're going to do for now, we will just pass zero values in it. Or actually, let's pass the value similar to our other values. Okay, for example, the cl climb up. Okay, so let's just copy that from there. And where is it? Okay, right here. So right here paste it okay and then at the end after this let's pass these values okay so in order to pass this we need to just simply copy that from there and paste it right here that's it okay I think we are missing one bracket so this is the first one okay we need to remove this one from here and put it right here that's it okay so after passing the player hand offset let's save the script get back to unity let's change into scene view okay here it is now let's play the game and let's test it out how does it looks okay so let's jump to the first one So now if we move up and now let's run towards this point and right here if you press the F button as you can see the player can now climb back as you can see for now the transform was a little bit messed up okay the player was in the air if we test it out again okay from here okay if we press the F button as you can see the player transform is a little bit messed up okay but in the shimmy left and right it is fine that's why it is looking good but when we uh, jump back to the point the player was in the air so we need to fix the transform issue so guys i have tested out my game and these in out and up down left right values works fine for me okay i just changed this to 0. Minus 0 0.44 and it works fine okay if i now go ahead and test it out for you guys okay so now if i jump right here as you can see it looks good okay if we test it out again on the other side as you can see it looks good okay so in this way you can change these values and find the perfect values for your own action okay for your own parkour action so now with this done what i will do i will simply end this video right here